This is Star Talk. So Randall uh, Zeisler wants to know this. He says, hi, Bill. Uh, with Zika virus having been around for over 60 years, we only hear about it when it spreads to pandemic proportions. How many other viruses are out there that are just contained to a certain area that are waiting to spread under the right conditions? Also, what do you think will be the next Zika virus? Well, here's a rosy outlook for you to paint, Laurie. Yeah, well, that's, that <laughs> precise question is what I have focused on for the last, you know, three decades professionally. And we don't know an, a number. We can't give you an exact count and say this is how many viruses lurk out there. One of the reasons is that they're all mutating all the time. They adapt at an incredible pace at whatever we throw at them, including climate change. Because they reproduce so fast. So fast. Many of the viruses are reproducing in the order of minutes or hours. Wow. And, of course, the bacteria are producing on the order of days. And, and so the humans are reproducing on the order of years. Decades. Yeah. And so it allows them tremendous advantage to change. And in a way, you can look at any given ecology, whether it's right here, the top, the surface of this seems to be some kind of felt here. Bays. There is there is a biome right. Right on this surface. We don't see it, but there are a lot of organisms living here. Um, and they and by the way, people, they're delicious. <laughs> and they <laughs> and they info. range from the big ones, you know, parasites, all the way down to the really tiny ones, phage, which are just little packets of DNA, right? That attack viruses. That attack viruses and bacteria. And bacteria. Yeah. And so here's what's happening. It's a giant lending library. Mm -hmm. You know, all over here is DNA. And bacteria, if, I, if they feel attacked, if I had antibiotics to splash the word the surface, feel is anthropomorphizing a little bit. But if bacteria experience an assault, mm -hmm. some sort of a antiseptic I put on this surface, they scour actively their environment for any phage that might have some DNA that they can use to counter. That's a model for us. Wow. We scour the rainforest and our tummies and everything else looking for uh, something that will fight this uh, a given. Well, we mostly you know. destroy. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> So uh, by that, I mean, it's not great. So, so did we answer the question? I don't remember what it was. Oh, well, how how many? What's so, the next? Uh, what's 60 there, viruses there is, that cause the cold. There got to be 60, There's a great guy. 60,000 that we've never heard there's of. There's a great guy up at Columbia University at the medical school named Ian Lipkin who has proposed a project to actually go out and scour the planet for missing viruses and to identify them. Is this um, akin to what Craig Venter was doing with his sailboat? Well, he was doing total microbiome, not just viruses, and he was just the Sarah G Gasso C. But um, now the NIH, our National Institutes of Health, is looking at uh, funding together with NSF what they would call the Earth Microbiome Project to actively go out and scour all kinds of different ecological settings, looking to identify all of the bacteria, viruses, and phage in a given community setting. Now, that poses another problem that I'm actually working on in a new book I'm writing, which is when is a life form a pathogen, and when is it uh, an innocent bystander or, a, or, or, or something <laughs> happily helping you, yeah. a symbiote, a right. commensal, something that actually is digesting your food for you or protecting you by doing combat <clears throat> with other microbes, right? But then suddenly they will switch and there'll be a pathogen. And we don't know why. We don't completely understand how this happens. It turns out almost every human being has anthrax in your gut. This is a huge surprise. We only discovered this in the last couple of years. Well, why is anthrax in your gut harmless, but anthrax in the air or on a or surface, an mm -hmm. as we all learned in 2001 with the mailings to members of Congress and the media, why is that a lethal event? We don't really understand, but in any ecological setting, a plant, an animal, the ocean, the air, there's this mix of microbes, which under certain circumstances are at least neutral, if not beneficial, and in other circumstances are dangerous, and we don't really understand it. This is Star Talk.